That way I can see it and you guys can see it. We can both see it at the same time. Monitors, whether you need a primary one for everyday use, a secondary one for the weekends, or you just want one to have a secondary screen while you're editing videos. Today we have the whole V 10.1 inch TFT LCD monitor that's great for pretty much everything. Whether you need a screen for CCTV usage, a monitor for your personal computer, or in my case, a secondary display that I can use while I'm editing, or even as a TV, because it actually has built-in speakers so you can get audio too. We're looking at a 10.1 inch diagonal IPS display at a 16.9 ratio at 280 by 800 pixels. A contrast ratio at 660 to 1 all with less than 5 milliseconds of latency this is really looking like it's going to be a good little monitor the box is pretty simple not much to see and inside we got it packed up nicely with a lot of foam we have a little instruction manual a 12 volt power adapter a vga cable a bnc cable oh nice a flat hdmi cable a mounting base as well as the mounting stand i'm actually really impressed that it comes with all the cables you could possibly need and now getting onto the monitor it's wrapped up nicely let's pull this thing out oh wow this thing's looking nice we got that big 10 inch display going right across. We got some decent sized bezels, not too big, not too small, just the right amount. We got some easy to read icons for the buttons. Over on the back, we have some vents for ventilation as well as speaker grill so you can hear the audio coming out. We have four screw holes if you wanna mount this on your wall, as well as a little groove here so you can mount it to the stand. Down on the bottom, we have a plethora of inputs, including the 12 volt DC input, the VGA input, HDMI input, AV audio and video input, USB output for charging USB power devices, as well as the BNC input. Overall, this is feeling like a really nice dirty design. Let's get this mount installed. We're gonna loosen this up right here. Take this piece off, slide in the stand. Let's get it locked into place. And just like that, we got the stand installed. It is a little bit cumbersome installing the stand, but once you get it all set up and ready to go, you don't have to do it again. And here we go. We got a nice 10 inch monitor ready to go. It looks awesome. Now, of course, we got to get some power to this thing so we can test it out. Let's get the power plugged in. And this is pretty cool. The stand lets you angle it however you need to, including straight up, which I'm going to need to right now. Let's get this thing powered on. Oh, look at that. That actually looks really clear. All right, so we're in HDMI mode right now. We can press this button to cycle between the different modes. We have AV1, AV2, as well as VGA. Let's get back to HDMI. And let's get this thing plugged in with the HDMI cable to my laptop and see how well this looks. I can't wait. I'm really loving this flat HDMI cable it came with. That's really hitting the spot. All right, got it plugged into the MacBook. It's syncing up and bam, look at that. We got a secondary display for my MacBook right here on the side. Who needs an iPad when you got this? It's a lot cheaper too. So as you know, depending on what your needs are, you can either mirror the display that's on your laptop or your desktop computer, or you can have it as a secondary display so you can have both the left and the right side to extend your display to make it bigger. Look at that, you can see my mouse going around. Let me drag a, let me drag a window over there. Look at that, you guys. This is awesome, okay. Now let me angle it back down so I can see what's going on here. Oh wow, it's looking good, okay. I'm really digging this, all right. Now remember, this is roughly a 720p display, a little bit bigger at 800p, but you know it is what it is. So it's not gonna be the sharpest picture ever, although it is very good for the size. Okay, right now I set the displays to mirror each other so we can see the same thing on both displays so that way I can see it and you guys can see it. We can both see it at the same time. Let's check out some video real quick. Let's see how well those speakers sound. Right, and also, he doesn't know. Probably should switch to those speakers first though. The speakers are a bit tinny, although for me, this is kind of a bonus having speakers because I'll just be using the speakers from the laptop anyways, or maybe even have an external speaker connected. I'm not really expecting a monitor to have speakers at all. I'm actually kind of surprised that it has them. The video does look clear on the video does look clear on the display. I'm actually really impressed with this thing. We got a nice little size here. One thing I am noticing though is the bottom of the stand doesn't have any rubber grips whatsoever. So it is sliding around on the table an awful lot. Personally, I would install some myself since it didn't come with any. So just keep that in mind. Look at that, I can have it upside down. I can do whatever I want with this thing. I'm gonna just put it back toward me. So this is actually gonna be a real good setup here. I can have this right one showing the whole video that I'm editing and then the left one just showing the whole timeline and I have a ton more room because the video is no longer taking up the top of the screen. Let's see, looking at them side by side, the color reproduction is actually really good. Not quite as sharp as on the retina display on the MacBook, of course, because of different resolutions, but the color, it's looking good. I don't really see any differences. The viewing angles are actually pretty good too, unless you have it like this and it does get a bit washed out. But if you have it, let's see, if I'm looking at it from the side, I can still see it. Plus I got all these lights in here too. So that's another factor, but it's still looking good from all the angles. I'm, I'm impressed. 
this is actually really good. Now going through the menus, we have options for brightness, contrast, saturation. We can increase the brightness if we need to. How bright does this actually get? Let's see. Come on, get all the way up there. Let's get up to 100. Hey, kill the studio lights. You know, this is definitely bright enough. It gets super bright. Like if you need it brighter than this, I don't know what to tell you. We can adjust the position of the screen, the volume of the sound, reset everything, and yeah, pretty much everything you need. Basic settings, but you don't really need to do much with a monitor anyways. Oh yeah. Hey, turn the studio on. Okay. <laughs> and now we're back because it kind of got weird doing this in the dark. All in all though, I'm very impressed with this. It's definitely gonna be a good alternative to having a sidecar because I don't have an iPad I can use for that. But now I got this display right here. I don't need the iPad. So win-win situation right here. If you need it for your security camera system, I mean a little screen just like this, have different windows popping up. Or maybe you're like me and just need a secondary display for your computer. It'll definitely get the job done.